If you are a beginner to 3D rendering or want to get familiar with RP Studio, stick with me through this series. The first step to create amazing and realistic renders using RenderPub Studio is to import the mesh. And lucky for us, RenderPub Studio supports a number of formats. Hi, what's up? Welcome to our channel. RenderPub supports importing non-proprietary file formats such as FEX, OBJ, DE, 3DS, and GLTF or GLB. Let's see how it's done in this video. Firstly, let's open RenderPub Studio. Once the application opens, you will see this window with several templates to choose from. In this video, we will only be importing a mesh. We already have a scene to import a file into. You can choose the default scene and click on Create Project. Now to import your mesh, all you gotta do is click on File, Import, choose the file location. After you select the file you intend to import, you can also select between importing into scene only or global library. Choosing global library adds the object to both your scene and library. If necessary, you can also set the units at which you would like to import your object and based on the modeling software. One thing to remember here would be to turn on generate smooth normals. This will ensure that your model appears smooth once imported from your modeling software. The rest of the options are pretty standard and work well for majority of the objects at default state. Triangulate faces ensures that your model is triangulated and optimized for texturing. Flip UVs toggle flips the UV coordinates such that the upper left corner of the screen is considered as the origin. Make left-handed inverts the coordinate space. You can also set any default transformation values you would like to import your object with. Hit OK to import. Once the UI disappears, you can notice that the object you intended to import is now attached to your cursor, ready to be placed as required. As you can see, the pivot of the object is not at the object, so for ease of use with the object selected, you can right-click and center pivot. To place the object, you can manually move it using the gizmo or punch in the location values under the mesh tab. That concludes the tutorial on how to import a mesh into RenderPub Studio.